Welcome to another tutorial on the MoFi 5500 routers. Today we're going to take a look on how to set up the MoFi Cloud Link. So this is basically a public static IP service, a dedicated IP just for you. So in order to do that, you can call us or email us to sign up with the seven day free trial. After you sign up with a seven day free trial with us, we will send you an email similar to this. So this email will contain all the information that you need in order to set up the MoFi cloud link. So let's get started. And in the attachment of the email, you should find your configuration file for your WireGuard MoFi cloud link. So you wanna make sure you download that and you know where it's downloaded. Now we wanna log into the router. To do that, uh, you wanna make sure that you're connected to the MoFi router, just like I am. And then open up your browser. In the address bar, let's type in the default IP of the MoFi router, 192.168.10.1. So that should take us in. Use the password admin, all in lowercase if you haven't changed it. Once we are in, we want to click on business from the list on the left and then click on MoFi cloud link. Once we are there, uh, it's asking us to choose the server. So you want to make sure it's VPN server and you also want to make sure that enable cloud link is checked. Now, according to the email, it's going to contain your location. So you want to check your email first. And according to the email, the location is set to wg4-datacenter.mofimanage.com. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select this one. And then the final step is you want to browse the configuration file that was sent in the email. So I already downloaded the configuration file. You want to click on Browse. And then this should bring your configuration file. You want to double click it and it's selected. That's it. Now you, on the bottom right hand corner, you want to click on save. Waiting for changes to be applied. This should take a few seconds. And that's it, you're good to go. All right, now we should be done with our MoFi Cloud Link setup. So if you scroll a little bit below under the VPN status, you should see that you're connected. It should show your public static IP address. So we should be good at this point. Now that we have the MoFi Cloud Link setup, our next step would be we want to add a device that we want to remotely access. So say for an example, you have an IP camera or an IP phone that you want them to use this public static IP address. So you will need to add those devices under this list. So you want to click on Add, and this will allow you to add the device under this list. You'll need to choose the MAC address of that device. So say for an example, we can choose this one. And the IP address of that device. You could put a label just to make sure. So we can do Example, Camera. So after you're done with this, you can hit Save on the bottom right. As you can see, now we have the device added. So right now, that particular device should get this public static IP address. Our next step is to do port forwarding. Now, if you want to do port forwarding, you want to go under network and then choose port forwarding. Very similar to what we did before, we have to add this device under this list. So we want to click on add and just give a name so that we understand what we are forwarding the ports for. And because you're using the MoFi Cloud Link as your public static IP service, you want to change that to Cloud Link. And you want to choose the IP address of that device. And say, for an example, we want to forward the port 443. So that's how we are going to put it. And then on the bottom right, we want to click on Save. Once it's done applying the changes, you will be able to access that device using the public IP that we provided you, colon, the port, which is 443 at this point. That should bring you to the device that you're trying to remotely access. There is one final thing that some customers would want to do is what we call static lease. So what they want to do, if they want to have a static IP router, you want to click on network and then you want to go to DHCP. 
After that, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see the static leases are here. You want to click on Add, and you want to do exactly the same thing. You want to choose the MAC address of that device. You want to choose the IP address and give a name for that device, and then hit Save. What the static leases will do is it will make sure that device IP will not change. So no matter you access that device after two weeks of rebooting, that device will have this particular IP because you have added that device under the static leases. In order to do that, click on Save. So that's it for the whole MoFi Cloudlink tutorial. Hopefully this will aid you on your MoFi Cloudlink setup journey. Uh, see you in the next one.